It's October 13th, uh, almost 7 o'clock p.m. And uh, you can see that's the best seat in the house there, even though it's not right now by the lake. Uh, it's at my camp here. I'm just trying to clear up some uh, spot in my land with a long fire, apparently. I uh, had some burn out there. I anticipated this all going out, but it didn't happen, actually. I'm surprised. You know how easily apparently start to fire uh, story start to fire uh, start a forest fire and I'm quite a few beers in here so but this one here is going fairly well and it's amazing on how much the the green pine like uh, any evergreen when it hits the fire on how much it stokes the fire I was trying to burn out stumps here even though in the end it might not be even worthwhile um, having uh, Holstein, just a regular one, not even the My Box, which I love more because it's all I can get. Um, German Purity Law beer, you know, a 15, 16, that means there's no shit in it. It's good. Actually, you know what? It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's great, but, you know, when you're not much of a choice, it's not bad. Okay, I'm just going to show you a little thing of. Oh, it's hot as fuck. Okay, so you can see. Got a little bit of evergreen here. You can hear it screaming. And you can hear it flaming up crazy. So, I still... I know there's a stump right there. This started over here and went over there. Um, there's lots of all different kinds of debris in here. Shouldn't do what I'm doing right now. Especially since I don't have my steel toes on, I got my uh, my bogs on. Even though I got that whatever pattern on them, it's just whatever I could get. When I ordered off bogs, I just wanted these things for the tread pattern on the bottom. Didn't care about the the color, but I guess I I kind of near match. Even though this is military surplus pants, Germany ones, and uh, again it was high of uh, like eight today, which I don't even know if we hit. So I got the uh, I got the icebreaker underneath here and then uh i think it's a british military uh, sweater which is very warm and i just got my outdoor research hat which i wouldn't buy their pants by the way because they don't last long but the hat's pretty good i did have a toque on earlier but it got too hot so just having a little you know enjoy the fire as it's getting dusk okay this is a tiny little chair i just had it sitting in my car this is like a, a backpacking canoeing chair more so if you really need a chair so i'll just have a seat here and you can see the angle you know you can never relax i did make okay never mind i didn't make but there's a skid over there where i have some logs that aren't seasoned yet which i'll have more um behind over there i cut down like five trees that were like you know dead as dead as whatever and standing up and I still got to clean up a few of them. I already cleaned up uh, some of them and threw them into this to stoke this fire getting going. Even though apparently that uh, evergreen, you know, stuff, you could hear it scream and you could hear it go. It really stokes the fire. It's really weird and sad. I guess whatever the oils or whatever else are in, are in that. But uh, just been monitoring this to make sure it didn't go crazy. It would have been nice if it spread over here, but... It did not, and that's where the other fire I had uh, last week when I was up here. But uh, burning out this bit, I want to clear it some land to build a little building. This is my parcel of land. I own it. There's no environmentally protected areas and all that, even though I do have a marsh at the front and I uh, have a lake, but I will not. I will not alter those. Um, yeah, so I've been up here for, I drove up uh, Sunday night after work. I slept north of Perry Sound and uh, got up in the morning. I got here about 10 a.m. So I've been up here since Monday at 10 a.m. And today is Thursday and it's near 7 o'clock. So um, yesterday was summer. It was probably over 20 degrees. You could wear shorts and a t-shirt. And it was freaking warm, nice. And uh, the rain cut in last night, and uh, then the winds from uh, the west 
yeah, the west, um, blew in, and it blew in extremely cold air. And this morning, you could see your breath no matter where you were. It was that cold. But uh, it did slightly warm up. They were saying for 8 degrees. And since I was having you know, this fire, I don't know what temperature I'm at. If I walk away from this, I can definitely feel the difference. I'm like near this, how I'm dressed, I'm like, I'm toasty warm. You know, my bogs, I got, uh, I got Icebreaker Long Johns 260s under these uh, military pants. And then I do have a... The 150 shirt and then this this sweater so and all the the heat leaves your head so got something better than nothing and it did keep a bit of the sun i didn't bring my tilly hat i didn't think it was gonna be that sunny and it's not really uh, early fall or uh, late spring or late summer so you know i could have used my tilly hat but yeah i've yet to go out my canoe unfortunately so i might though uh, no birds. I don't know what's going on with my luck this year, but I've seen a few, like three. Like one was actually worth it, but don't know what happened. No birds yet. Time will change everything, so we will see. And I do plan on getting up here again in a week's time. Um, hoping one of my uh, SJ four four hundreds or four thousand I can't even remember cameras come in so I can actually make proper videos instead of using my phone here. Um, so this is it for uh, now. A little uh, step in. A little uh, hey how you doing there and uh, that's what I'm sitting in front of it. You know it's not in front of my lake. It's damn warm. And you know what? It's all northern Ontario. You can't beat the smell of this wood. Burn that stump out, burn that stump out. Yeah!